Hey guys, <clears throat> and welcome back to Kabio Elbow's Bower. When we last left off, we were clearing the water temple, and uh, we were just about to go up and save our relative. Now, let's continue. Yeah, so I've counted since I've been away, and uh, if we don't have, well, if we have the health rune uh, equipped, it takes 10 seconds for our mana to restore, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're in the heat of battle, it actually feels like quite a while. Also, I've decided to partake in some ale. Fantastic ale, if you live in the UK. One of my favorites, this is a ruby red ale called Medusa. Oh my god, it's so good. So good. I don't know what brewery this comes from, actually. Harper's Brewing Co. Ah. I th think I vaguely remember this. Kind of reminds me a little bit of um, something from Zelda, actually. Hmm. Well, I didn't plan on giving up. Right, so, what have we got? Let's have a look. He's got little, like, nub jewels on him. So, I'm guessing we need to get rid of those. Ooh, 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 that's painful. Um, ah, look at these ramps. I bet we have to use Major Ruin. Can we, like, charge him, I wonder? Is that how it works? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that was painful. Um, yep, taking damage. Taking lots of damage. Unless we have to, like, knock these explosives into him somehow, but I don't think so. There are a lot of these ramps around. I'm pretty sure that's probably what we've got to aim at. Also, Major Ruin looks so much better in his normal skin. Let's see if we can go around here. Ah, that looks better. Oh, you f son of a bitch. Okay. Boop. Oh, no. Now, we must have to, like, stun him somehow. I reckon. Yeah, the water does nothing, kind of as... Ah, what about torpedoes? Can we use the torpedoes? Is there something underwater? Ah, hello. No, there isn't. Okay. And we can't really fire the torpedoes out of the water. Not really. No, that doesn't do jack shit. Okay. So what have we got here? We've got trolls up here that have got firing those bombs at us. I mean, maybe it's something to do with these bombs, but it doesn't make sense to me. <clears throat> okay, let's see if we can do anything with those. Show my friend, what do we have to do? Boop. Yeah, we can knock the explosives. Ah. Ah, maybe we've got to hit them with explosives. I mean, that's kind... Oh. Yeah, 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 that's got to be it. That's got to be it, because they actually, like, launch into him. Okay. Okay. I think I know what we're doing here, guys. I am a professional. A professional idiot. Now we're going to get hit. There we go. Right. Ah, I see. And I'm guessing we have to switch over to this dude. Oh, God. And hit him with the torpedoes. Is that it? Yep, okay. That is really hard to do with the shit controls. But, noted. One down, I think. Okay, so each cycle looks like we can get one down. Oh my god, it's gonna be, it's gonna be horrible with these controls. But it's okay, we're, we're gamers, damn it. Overcoming challenges is what we do. Alright, let's see if we can hit him up with this explosive. Boop! 
Oh man. That's no good. Nope. Don't you shoot that lightning shit at me, boy. Right, there we go. Oh. Yeah, we're going to have to deal with the janky physics here, guys. Yeah. We're going to have to kind of hit these dead on. Which is way easier said than done. Okay, we need to get over here. You know, you might as well just let him hit us, to be honest. There we go. Because... Alright, there we go. Go down. Yeah, we might as well just let him hit us with the lightning. Because once he's hit us, he kind of stops the attack. Right, nice. Oh, no. Okay, maybe we can do damage to the other ones. Definitely looks like it's done by time. Which is fine. Bugger. Didn't quite have time to lay the pain down on his second a bit, uh, second set of bollocks. I'm going to say bollocks. They're basically water bollocks. Boop. Boop. Okay, this looks good. This looks good. This looks good. The set up. Ready to go. Boop. Oh, you son of a bitch. Hmm. Oh, that was good. That was good. Right in the face. Oh. Can I actually see our relative in there? That's quite interesting. Okay, let's unleash the torpedo hell. So we've got to hit him four times in each one by the look of things. Which actually is not that easy. Not that easy to hit him. Okay. Looks like he's moving around a little bit more now he's injured, which makes sense. That's generally how bosses work. Damn lightning shit. Fuck off. Fuck off with your lightning. Fuck off. Stop your lightning bullshit. Boop. Really? Ah. Uh, but trolls, I know you're trying to help me out here. But you're not helping me out as much as you could be. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Now he's gone over to that one. Okay. He's actually moving around really fast now as well. Yeah, sadly, we can't really move around that quick. Oh, really? Really, game? Damn janky-ass physics. I think one of the annoying things is when we actually hit him, or when he hits us with that lightning, it spins our camera around. Damn, we're out of power. That's fine. Come on, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. There we go. Nice. Right. We set up. We set up. We good. We good. Boom. There we go. Right. I have to remember, the second we get into water, all of our controls reverse. Which is still so annoying. So annoying. Yeah, when you're on top of the water, it's fine. But the second you go underwater, everything reverses. Cool. That's fine. That's fine. Alright, buddy. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. I'm coming. Right, hit me. Nope. Nope. Not good. Not good. I don't think that's going to work. Oh, it did. Well, how about that? I was not expecting that to work. Oh, come on. It would be nice if the camera actually went underwater with us as well, but I guess, I guess, guys, we're asking for too much. How dare you have coherent controls and a camera when you can have none of these things? Yeah, so whenever he hits us, I think he moves on to the next... Oh, no. But he is... Ooh, you little sausage. He is firing a little bit quicker now each time. That's fine. We can handle that. Right, we need a ball pretty much right dead center. Oh, no, that's good. That's good. Line them up. All right. Oh, God, why? Why would you reverse the controls? Like, who designed the controls? Like, honestly. Nice. Haha. 
Athena, I want to say her name is. Nice. Well, oh, cameo. I knew you'd save me. You have always been noble and courageous. Not like that cowardly sister of yours. I'm ashamed to call her a relation. And yet, I pity her. For I believe deep down inside she feels her actions are justified. I think she does. How could she possibly in any way think what she's doing is all right? <sighs> It was your mother's desire you never hear this. But I suppose now it's better you know. Fina only bore Solon one child. Oh. Callus. Though you are as much a daughter to her as any blood relation ever could. So we are... I, I don't understand what you're saying. A miracle brought you to us, Cameo. Fina then adopted you as her own and raised you as such. Interesting. Your mother wanted your life to be perfect. And to shield you, she swore us all, including your sister, to secrecy. The attention Thena lavished on you bothered Callus, of course. But I think she always felt secure in the idea that when the time came... That she, as Solon's rightful heir, would receive the transformation magic. I see, but I still don't understand. I never expected this power. And if I'd have known all this would happen, I'd have refused it. No. Your mother was right to pass the power on to you. Callus has proven by her betrayal that she is not worthy of such a great responsibility. I know you care for your sister still, as do I. But sadly, she is lost to us. Mm -hmm. And you must do everything necessary to stop her. The fate of the realm rests firmly in your hands. And as a sign of my faith in your abilities, I present to you Chilla. Oh, cool. Um, <laughs> it looked like she was pulling Chilla out of her ass there. I won't let you down. There are so many other questions I have. Damn, it's getting dark out here. I know, Angel. But now is not the time. I must recover. And you're needed elsewhere. You're right, Aunt Lenya. Get some rest, and thanks for everything. Aunt Lenya. So, we are indeed the chosen one. Which is interesting. Cameo, can you hear me? Aye. Well, well, well. You're turning out to be quite the fighter, after all. <laughs> As Halas always says, where there's a warrior, there's a way. That's the attitude. <laughs> and you'll need it. I've had visions of Thorn building yet more weapons of war. Ooh. Can't quite make out what exactly, but they're bound to wreak untold havoc. Makes sense. I'll fly over that bridge when the time comes. Fly over that bridge. First, you must find Yeros. I refuse to let a single elemental sprite fall into Callus's traitorous hands. Hmm. Yes. He is the last who needs saving. Well, all righty then. <laughs> well, that doesn't look good. Ice everywhere and wet. Images of Yeros shivering inside the frigid walls of the Snow Temple, domain of the infinitely cold-hearted Queen Pyra. You must make haste to the village of the Snowtop tribe, as they have information that will help you reach the temple. Be swift. Interesting. <clears throat> well, alrighty then. Okay. So, we now have Chilla, another elemental warrior. I like Chilla. Chiller's cool. If you remember, we had Chiller in the beginning. And he is one of my uh, favorites. Although, I don't think he's like brilliant at offensive abilities, but we shall see. Um, what the actual hell? We can have a dapper Chiller. That's pretty cool. That is somewhat fitting. Yeah. 
<laughs> I quite like that actually. That's cool. Now nah, we go. We go standard. Um, you know we haven't read all the histories of these guys, have we? The shipwreck of the tenth age scattered across the Queen's entourage near and far during the return voyage. A group of elite guards were forced to return to the enchanted kingdom through a cold and distant forest. Snow weighed heavily on the thick branches, and constant storms obscured by s obscured sight. But many of the guards reported that they had seen a tiny, scurrying figure in the blizzard. Only when Queen later the Queen later returned to this forest with her warriors could she see this mystery finally be solved. The guards had been accompanied by another elemental sprite. When captured, the sprite was restored to its true identity, Chiller, whose powers kept winter winds fresh and crisp. Interesting. Okay. We haven't read the um, bios for the other ones, have we? I don't think. Let's have a look. The Queen of the Third Age spent much of her life hunting the elemental warriors, scrounging or scouring the wilderness with her most trusted troops. Eventually, she discovered an elemental sprite deep within a meadow filled with fruits and berries. With the fabled Whatnot book in her possession, the Queen was able to capture the elemental sprite and restore its true identity, Pummelweed, the elemental warrior whose existence kept the harvest bountiful and helped the fruits of the land to ripen. With Pummelweed at her command, the elves would never go hungry again. Later, the queen was able to use the element of power, transforming into Pummelweed and harnessing his his powerful techniques to destroy a rebel uprising in the old Sargothan ruins. An uprising that would have threatened the elves' very way of life. See, there's so much like lore, man. It just seems weird that we never got a second game. Rubble. Rubble. Rubble was recovered by the King of the Sixth Age when the elves discovered a remote cave on the peak of the distant mountain. Climbing to the top of the mountain was a difficult and lengthy journey that cost several lives, but the king was at last successful. Rubble ensured that the soil underfoot would always be fertile and produce good, healthy crops. In combat, his abilities helped the royals turn the tide of many battles. Those were difficult times as the elves struggled to bring peace to the land. But Rubble ensured many victories as his powers trapped bandits under many tons of earth and stone and split the very earth itself to swallow up an approaching army. There's a lot of murder and death in the lore of this game, isn't there? <clears throat> A severe storm had destroyed most of elfin, of an elfin entourage as they returned from across the sea, and the Queen of the Tenth Age found herself cast adrift on dis a distant shore, but not alone, as this desert isle was home to an elemental sprite. The Queen had clung to the Whatnot Book like a lifeline, even as her fleet faced destruction and was able to capture the sprite, discovering it to be deep blue. Deep Blue's abilities kept the rivers and oceans of the land pure and free from disease, as well as providing the Queen with a way back to civilization and her people. Mm. Major Ruin. In the seventh age of the realm, Major Ruin's elemental sprite was located amidst a barren wasteland where vegetation was scarce and water in short supply. Major Ruin's elemental powers ensured that cliffs stood firm against the tides and mountains pointed towards the heavens. Keeping the towns and people who made their homes on these rocky peaks free from avalanches and other disasters. In battle, Major Ruin was able to pass through fire unscathed to reach his enemies, a common tactic of the elves who would trap their enemies in circles of flame and use Major Ruin to deliver the finishing blow. See why that's brutal! Burning the enemies to death? Holy shit. 
Shortly after restoring rubble to the Whatnot Book, the king's new abilities allowed him to reach into a stretch of land where plumes of fire rose high into the sky and the ground was black with soot. Hiding in this desolate place with an elemental sprite, and when the king braved the heat and searing flames to capture it, he discovered it was Ash, the mighty elemental warrior who brought the spark of fire to the land, allowing food to be cooked and homes to be warmed. Food to be they couldn't cook food, food before they found Ash. Ash's powerful flame also allowed the el elves to confuse their enemies with the mighty smoke clouds, launching his attack in the Shroud of Darkness and winning battles before the enemy even knew they had begun. Hmm. Alright, let's upgrade him. Deep Chill. Deep Chill lets Chiller charge up an Ice Spear from his back until it's cold enough to instantly freeze any enemy it hits. The frozen enemy then waits helplessly for Cameo to finish it with another attack or face an icy death some moments later. <laughs> I love it. Alright, let's go for that. They all look so friendly and happy, but they're grisly like murder beasts. Spike Storm. The Spike Storm technique summons a cascade of icy shards out of thin air, which fall to earth around Chiller and stun any enemy they hit. Chiller is unable to move whilst the shower is in progress. Okay, sounds interesting. Come on, Chiller, my friend. Be all you can be. And we have Slam Hammer. When Chiller has an enemy in his hands as a melee weapon and wishes to dispose of them quickly, the Slam Hammer provides a finish so spectacular it earns a brutal bonus. Chiller slams the troll into the ground, leaving it helpless. To use the Slam Hammer, Chiller must have first grabbed an enemy using the spike back technique and be using it as a melee weapon. Then pulling both L and RT will perform the Slam Hammer. Sure. Wonder if he could chill my ale as well. Probably. Nice. So there we go. Another elemental warrior fully maxed out. So actually, guys, there is now some fruit we can get in here. <clears throat> now we have chiller. Mm hmm. Right, so there's a coconut that we need to free on this island, apparently. Shula. Shula. A coconut. Now, if I was a coconut... Oh, let's have a look. See if there's anything in these. A heart. See if there's any, like, cash money. Nope. 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 Come on, where's all the cash hidden? There we go, that's some cash. And more cash. No. Right, okay, um... So let's be chiller a minute. Okay, this is actually... Ah! There we go. Only a basic one, but it's fine. At least that's another one we now have. Using Chiller's Ice Spike. Ah, and we have another one that we need to go sort out. Over here. This way! Back to where the angry wife was hiding. Pardon? Do you presume to call me an angry wife? Boop. Money. Hey, that was a good amount of money, actually. Now, apparently there's another coconut over here somewhere. Aha! I see it. 
So, like, is this the only fruit there is in the land? Elemental fruit? I mean, it's kind of handy, because... We need it. So we need thermite for that one. Yeah, and the rest of them here, we need thermite to access. On a stalk, on a cliff path, at the western part of the map. Now, I think we got that one. So I think that one was over here. Damn it. Don't give me hearts in a box. We do not need the hearts. But we need cash money. So I think that one... Was up here. Because we got the stalk that was here, remember? Yeah. So I think... It was that one. That is the western path. Right, let's get out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm guessing... We can go home. We could go home, actually. Which could be a good thing. Because... Yeah, that's to the thermite cave. Or the treasure cave, which we can't do just yet. But let's go back to the battlefield. Ah, really? Really? Nope, that's fine. We don't need it. Ooh! Landing craft! Full of orcs. Oh man, look at that bad boy. Whoa! Well, we've got a lot of cannons. If not persistent, our soldiers won't last long against that warship without our help. Get over to the elemental shrine and light the cannons to sink that floating monstrosity. Well, we can do that. Okay. Now, these guys must be exhausting their army. Surely. I mean, holy shit. All right, let's get back on our horse here. Charge! Ooh. Oh, look at them. They are definitely persistent. Well, let's go evil, <laughs> even the odds, I guess. Look how epic the battles are. I mean, okay, they're, they're not really that epic, but it's still cool. They're not as epic as I remember them, put, them that, put it that way. Ooh, we got a big boy. We got a big boy. Right, to battle. Let's bring out Ash. Hey guys, do you think a dragon might equal the uh, playing field a little bit? I think so. Let's get rid of this troll. Oh god. Oh god. How long is it going to take him? Whoa. Oh, okay. I actually thought we killed that troll. Yeah, we killed him. That troll was actually really not that hard. Um, piss off you. Now, where is the ship? Where is the ship that we need? Ah, there it is. Right. So, I'm guessing we need to be cameo. Do we not need... Do we not need to, like, actually aim the cannon? In the right place? Am I missing something here? Oh, I see. I see. He's actually, like, moving the cannon. No, we've lost an elf. No. Dude. Oh, God. Um, can I use my flames, please? And I killed the elf. Luckily, the cannon is moving still. Is that the only cannon that's moving? Oh, I see. Ah, right. I think we might have to defend these cannons. Until they're ready to fire. Maybe. Alright, let's grab the cash. 
because we need cash. Cash money. Can we? Oh, there we go. Fire! Boom! I think we like the one cannon we have isn't really enough. Uh, each one of these cannons fires a single shot by looks looks of things. Bit rubbish, if you ask me, but okay. Uh, you know what? This is easier to flame everybody, to be honest, than cherry pick individual guys out. That might seem harsh, but you know, war is never a pleasant thing. Ooh, let's kill these guys, dude. Seriously, don't... Look, just get behind me. Honestly. Right, let's light the cannon. Fire two! Maybe our cannons are better. I don't know. Oof. Look at them fly. Doesn't seem to do too much, to be honest. Come on. Where's the next cannon? There's the next cannon. And I heard coins. I heard coins. Another cannon ready to fire. Cool. Actually getting dangerously close to having the maximum amount of money. Which I wholeheartedly approve of. This also ain't really a bad way. Oh, Jesus. This ain't a bad way of making some scratch. Right, there's that cannon ready. Boom! Right, let's use chiller. My dudes, can you get off my friends, okay? This really is getting ridiculous at this point. I'm just saying, okay guys? There we go. Stack them up. Right, get out of here. <laughs> That's one way to do it. Can we not... Why can't we? There we go. Cannon ready. Get off my land. Woohoo! Go back to your ship, bitch. Right, another cannon ready. Seems like elven cannons are better. As it would appear. And uh, the cannonballs always uh, hit in the same place as well, which is a bit concerning. But it would appear that mult oh god damn it, multiple shots from orc cannons seem to have very little effect. But our cannons is where it's at. Uh, I think we need an offensive, an offensive guy. One that, oh, why is it so hard to bring that wheel up? There we go. Um, it's so difficult because you just kill um, your own men, which I, I don't understand that. I, I don't. I'm not sure why they, they allowed you to hurt your own men. It's really strange. I mean, it doesn't matter. There's no like penalty for it or anything, but it just seems a little bit weird to me. Still, we shall hold the fort. Boom. You're gone. You're gone. Those guys are going overboard. Right, let's get our dragon friend out. Flame on! Yeah, I mean, I guess there's no point really worrying too much about these battles, because there are, is unlimited enemies here. Ooh, that can actually hit a different area. We did it! We pushed the bastards back. Not having a lot of luck, are they? These stupid orcs. And I guess he's better late than never, I suppose. Oh, I bet he was hiding. Yes, boss. Snowtop Village, you say? 
Let's go. Ah, oh, hey, friend. I'm just, like, standing here, pondering your life decisions. Well, you can die. We'll let our guys finish these off. You know, it's got to be said, we, our empire has quite the large army. And friendly fire is something that isn't really frowned upon. Which is always nice. There we go. Collect a little bit more cash. Alright, looks like our boys have this under control. Let's get out of here. Let's head to the Snowtop Village. So. If we have a look... Right. So the Snowtop Village, there's a, a hell of a lot of stuff there. Which makes sense, because we haven't been there yet. So we're going to have to leave this epic music behind. Alright, let's get past this mountain and get the fuck out of here. Let's go! Let's go! I want to go to the Snowtop Village. The obligatory snow level. Ooh. I suppose one more for the team which will help you oh wow they're really really not that tough I mean we know they're not tough but like they're really not that tough I hear loads of coins dropping behind as well but we don't need them Look at all this burning orcish machinery. Just the way we like it. Man, look at this. What a tragic waste of life on both sides. The monument is going to have to be massive for all of these fallen warriors. Oh, maybe we just, you know won't remember them. We call them all Bob. And then we can have one memorial shrine to Bob. Yes. I like this. And imagine how much money that would save as well. You remember when Bob died? Yeah, we can't go up there. Uh, do we have to go underneath? Maybe. Does look like there's a huge. No, that doesn't look right. Ah, let's go onto the path. It's probably a good idea. And we'll work our way up. Ah, this looks more like it. Let's get our mana back. Hey, by the time we get our mana back, we're probably going to be where we need to be. Almost. Right, full speed ahead. Ooh, yeah, we actually need Chiller to do this. Right, there we go. Alright, Chiller, me old mucker. Let's get up here. Let's go. Can actually leap up. Yeah, I forgot about that. Nice. Are we already on half an hour? No way. We're on 39 minutes. When did that happen? Jesus. Time flies when you're having fun. Shit. Prepare to explore this area thoroughly. We'll need some new abilities. Reach the Shadow Troll and defeat it so we can add flex to your arsenal. Flex, you say? Hmm. Well, alrighty then. Anyway, guys, considering we're on about half an hour, well, 40 minutes apparently, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you very much for watching, as always. Um, yeah, so I guess we're going to find Flex next. Don't remember which one he was.
Hmm. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. As always, till next time.